Imagine a discovery so profound it shakes the very foundation of everything we believe about the universe. A revelation so chilling it forces us to question the origin of existence itself. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye into the cosmos, has uncovered something extraordinary. Evidence that something happened before. The Big Bang, the event long thought to be the absolute beginning of everything. This is not just a scientific breakthrough. It's a cosmic mystery that rewrites the story of reality. Buckle up as we embark on a journey through time, space, and the frontiers of human understanding to uncover what this groundbreaking telescope has revealed and what it means for the universe and for us. For decades, the Big Bang Theory has been the cornerstone of cosmology. Picture this, an infinitely dense, unimaginably hot point of matter smaller than an atom exploding in a cataclysmic event 13.8 billion years ago. From that single moment, all the atoms, molecules, stars, galaxies, and planets we see today were born. This narrative has been the bedrock of our understanding, supported by a wealth of evidence. The cosmic microwave background, the faint glow of radiation left over from the early universe, aligns perfectly with predictions. The abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium matches the calculations of what a young, fiery universe would produce. Even the way galaxies are distributed across the cosmos fits the model like a glove. It's a story so compelling, so consistent, that it's hard to imagine anything else. But what if this story is incomplete? What if the big bang wasn't the beginning at all? The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, is changing the game. This marvel of engineering, with its massive gold-plated mirror and instruments sensitive enough to detect the faintest whispers of light from the dawn of time, is peering deeper into the universe than ever before. It's not just seeing stars and galaxies, it's capturing light that has traveled for billions of years, offering a glimpse of the universe when it was just a cosmic infant. But what it's found is nothing short of shocking. Observations from this telescope have revealed galaxies that are far too massive, far too structured to have formed in the short time since the Big Bang. These ancient galaxies, some observed just 300 million years after the supposed beginning, defy the timeline we've clung to for decades. How could such complex structures exist so early? The answer might lie in a chilling possibility. The Big Bang wasn't the start, but a transition, a moment in a far grander cycle. Let's step back and consider what this means. The Big Bang theory, for all its elegance, has always had a nagging problem, the singularity. At the moment of the Big Bang, all matter and energy were compressed into an infinitely dense, infinitely small point. The laws of physics as we know them break down in such extreme conditions. General relativity, the framework that describes gravity, and quantum mechanics, which governs the subatomic world, don't play nicely together at these scales. The result is a mathematical dead end, a singularity where time, space, and our understanding grind to a halt. It's as if the universe is hiding its true origin behind a cosmic curtain, daring us to peek behind it. The James Webb's findings are pulling back that curtain, hinting that the universe may have a history that stretches beyond the Big Bang into a realm we can barely comprehend. Enter the idea of a cyclical universe, a concept so mind-bending it feels like science fiction, yet it's grounded in rigorous mathematics. Imagine the universe not as a one-time event, but as an endless loop of expansion and contraction, birth and rebirth. 
In this model, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, but a phase in an infinite cycle. Each cycle begins with a hot, dense state, expands into the vast cosmos we see today, then collapses back into a dense point, only to explode again in a new Big Bang. This cyclic cosmology suggests that our universe is just one chapter in an eternal story, with no true beginning or end. The James Webb's observations of early galaxies support this idea, suggesting that the universe may have had time, perhaps infinite time, to form these structures before the event we call the Big Bang. But how could such a cycle work? To understand this, we need to dive into the strange world of theoretical physics. One promising framework is string theory, a bold attempt to unify gravity with the other fundamental forces of nature. Unlike in traditional physics, which treats particles as points, string theory imagines them as tiny, vibrating strings of energy. These strings exist in dimensions beyond the three spatial dimensions we perceive, potentially up to 10 or 11 dimensions. At the extreme energies of the early universe, string theory suggests that the laws of physics behave differently, allowing for phenomena that seem impossible under our current models. Within this framework emerges the concept of an ekpyrotic universe, derived from the Greek word for conflagration or fire. This model proposes that the Big Bang was not a singular explosion, but the result of a collision between higher dimensional objects called brains. Picture two, vast multidimensional membranes floating in a higher dimensional space, slamming together to ignite a new cycle of the universe. The ekpyrotic model is thrilling because it offers a way to avoid the singularity problem. Instead of an infinitely dense point, the Big Bang becomes a transition event, sparked by the collision of brains. This collision releases immense energy, creating the hot, dense state that expands into our universe. But here's the chilling part. If this is true, our universe is just one of countless others, each born from similar collisions in a vast multiverse. The James Webb's discovery of unexpectedly mature galaxies supports this idea, as it suggests the universe had a prehistory where structures could have formed, carried over from a previous cycle or even another brain. This challenges everything we thought we knew about the cosmos and opens the door to a reality far stranger than we ever imagined. Now let's explore another mind-blowing possibility, conformal cyclic cosmology. This theory, rooted in advanced mathematics, proposes that the universe undergoes an infinite series of cycles, each connected through a process called conformal transformation. Imagine the universe expanding until it becomes cold, empty, and vast, with all matter consumed by black holes that eventually evaporate into scattered photons. At this point, the universe is a void, almost nothing. But in this nothingness, something extraordinary happens. Through a mathematical sleight of hand, the cold, empty state of one cycle becomes equivalent to the hot, dense state of the next. Size and time lose their meaning at these extremes, allowing the universe to reset itself in a new Big Bang. The James Webb's observations of ancient galaxies could be evidence of this process as their unexpected complexity hints at a universe that carried information from a previous cycle. What makes this idea so captivating is its elegance. The conformal cyclic model doesn't require a true beginning or end. It's a universe that reinvents itself endlessly. The light from distant galaxies captured by the James Webb could contain subtle clues, patterns or anomalies in the cosmic microwave background that carry the fingerprints of a previous cycle. These clues, if found, 
would be like discovering a message from a universe that existed before ours, encoded in the fabric of space itself. It's a thought that sends shivers down the spine. Our universe might be a descendant of another older cosmos, connected through a chain of cycles stretching into infinity. But the James Webb's discoveries don't just support cyclic models, they also raise profound questions about the nature of reality. If the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, what was? Could there have been a before that set the stage for our universe? Some physicists propose that quantum mechanics holds the key. In the quantum realm, particles exist in multiple states at once, only collapsing into a definite state when observed. Applied to the universe, this suggests that each cycle might be shaped by random quantum events introducing subtle variations that make each universe unique. The early galaxies observed by the James Webb could be evidence of such variations, their structures influenced by the quantum memory of a previous cycle. This idea is thrilling because it suggests we might one day detect these variations in the cosmic microwave background, offering a glimpse into the universe's ancient past. Let's pause for a moment to let the weight of this sink in. The universe we inhabit, with its billions of galaxies, stars, and planets, might be just one link in an infinite chain. Every star we see, every planet we dream of exploring, could be the product of a cosmic cycle that stretches back forever. The James Webb's findings are more than scientific data. They're a window into a reality that defies our wildest imagination. They challenge us to rethink our place in the cosmos, to question whether we're the product of a singular moment or part of an eternal process. The emotional weight of this discovery is overwhelming. It's both humbling and exhilarating to realize that our universe might be part of something far grander, a cosmic dance that never ends. But there's a darker side to this revelation. If the universe is cyclical, what does that mean for its ultimate fate? In the conformal cyclic model, each cycle ends in a cold, empty void, only to be reborn in a new Big Bang. But what drives this process? Is it truly infinite, or could there be a point where the cycles stop? Some physicists speculate that quantum fluctuations could eventually disrupt the cycle, leading to a universe that fails to reset. Others propose that the multiverse contains countless cycles, each giving rise to different physical laws, some of which might not support life. The James Webb's data, while thrilling, also confronts us with the fragility of our existence. If our universe is just one of many, what makes it special? And if it's part of an infinite cycle, what is the purpose of it all? These questions aren't just scientific, they're deeply philosophical. The idea that something cannot come from nothing has haunted thinkers for centuries. If the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, we're left wondering what sparked the first cycle, if there even was one. Some argue that the universe requires no origin, that an infinite series of cycles eliminates the need for a first cause. Others suggest that the universe's beginning is a feature of its own end, a loop where the final state of one cycle triggers the birth of the next. The James Webb's observations don't provide definitive answers, but they fuel the debate, pushing us to explore the boundaries of physics and metaphysics. The telescope's ability to peer into the universe's infancy is like holding a mirror to our own existence, forcing us to confront the mystery of why there is something rather than nothing. Let's zoom in on the James Webb's role in this cosmic drama. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb is designed 
to capture infrared light, allowing it to see through cosmic dust and observe objects so distant their light has been traveling since the universe was young. Its images of early galaxies, some formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, are breathtaking. These galaxies, with their intricate structures and massive stars, shouldn't exist according to the standard timeline. They suggest that galaxy formation began earlier than we thought, possibly in a pre-Big Bang era. This isn't just a technical detail, it's a clue that the universe has a hidden history, one that the James Webb is uniquely equipped to uncover. The telescope's data also hints at another startling possibility, the role of dark energy in the universe's cycles. Dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's accelerated expansion, could play a key part in cyclic cosmology. In some models, dark energy dominates the late stages of a cycle, stretching the universe until it becomes a cold, empty void. This void then transitions into a new Big Bang, restarting the cycle. The James Webb's observations of distant supernovae and galaxy clusters are helping scientists measure dark energy's influence, offering clues about whether it could support a cyclic universe. If these measurements confirm that dark energy behaves as predicted, it could be the key to understanding how one cycle gives rise to the next.